Um, I really want to thank Liv for uh, hosting this um, this chat, and I want to thank um, everybody for their comments and uh, the people that were speaking in front of in front of me and sharing their point of view and experiences and what they're facing in the field. Um, you know, I, a lot of it is this discussion of where do we get resources and how do you make sure that uh, um, we are getting the support that we need um, or that you need in the field uh, is to be at the table. And um, a lot of it is then, because a lot of times we, when we think about um, the issues that we need to promote, which a lot of times we end up talking to ourselves uh, on the issue and, and advocating from outside. So um, it's effective to, to a certain extent that you advocate uh, uh, from the outside, but you also need to be in the inside. And um, the advocacy work in San Francisco that's occurred over the last few decades has really um, promoted our the early education uh, field to be very visible. Uh, it created things like uh, the providers, um, what is it that's uh, the providers, Associ San Francisco Providers Association, uh, the a lot of work gets done at the San Francisco Local Planning Council, which is, um, and you also have the San Francisco, as uh, the earlier speaker was uh, from the San Francisco Family Child Care uh, Association. So all that is good. All that is good. And it helped create things like the Office of uh, Early Care and Education, our Office of ECE, uh, which is doing a lot of the work internally in San Francisco with the resources we've been able to get in the few, last few years. But in, in, in the more recent years, um, what I'm finding is that people are beginning to get at the table so that it's uh, sort of, it really does have a lot of impact. Um, when I look at um, what's uh, happened in the last few years to, in the discussion of uh, childcare facilities, for instance, um, 10 years ago, you could barely get anybody to build any childcare facilities in San Francisco. And um, but with the help of LIF and other uh, organizations, every development, large development in San Francisco now comes to the table. Well, at least when they come to my office, they would uh, pretty much present that we're gonna build all these res residential units or we're gonna build all these commercial uh, units and by the way, we're gonna put childcare in, in, in this building. Just about uh, in the last two years, three years, I would say every major development has had that, which is a good turnaround. Um, the other thing that, and more recent, I don't wanna fast forward because uh, uh, my involvement with the early education field has been over five decades. Um, so I feel like I'm uh, providing some of that uh, sitting at the table when it comes to early education. But when uh, more recently we have, uh, I think Monica was uh, on earlier talking about her, some of the things she's been doing, but she's also on the San Francisco Economic Recovery Task Force. Uh, again, it was on purpose that we put somebody uh, from the early education field at the table in that discussion. And um, the the other thing that we're doing is we're talking about um, finding more revenues um, in the next election coming up. Um, and one of the things I, I said to people as we're having this discussion, we need to have early education at the table. And it makes a big difference because not only is are you advocating for, for the things that you want, but you're also educating the people around the table that are not from the field. Um, it's almost, almost everybody talks about it now from the business community when I talk to them. Yes, we need childcare. We can't get back to work unless we have childcare. So it, it's real important that you take the extra step and not just advocate from the outside. Try to get to the table. Uh, thank you very much.